Hey GED students, let's look at this example. It says which of the following expressions would not give the difference between 6 and 11. I like this problem because it preps you for two skills you need for the GED. Difference is a concept that frequently comes up in the non-calculator section, so we need to understand it. But I also love this because <laughs> the GED is a close reading test a lot of the time, and anybody who didn't read this closely would go straight for this answer. They'd say, hey, look, I've done enough of Kate's videos that I know the difference between 6 and 11, but that student didn't notice this little snake in the grass. I always call these negative or negating words, snakes in the grass, because they reach out and bite you all the time. Y'all miss them. So it doesn't say which of the following expressions would give the difference. It says which of the following expressions would not give the difference. That means that there's a bunch of right ways and only one wrong way. So I absolutely agree that one way to find the difference between 11 and 6 would be to subtract the two numbers and then make the answer positive. Remember, that's all those up and down absolute value bars do there. Absolute value bars will make whatever's inside of them, the answer to whatever's inside of them, positive. So that being said, D is a right answer, and so <laughs> that's not what I want. Now, uh, C works as well. I like this because the difference between uh, 6 and 11, I could definitely subtract by putting 11 first and 6 second, and I would get what I need for a difference problem. Remember, the difference is a positive subtraction expression. It's what I would get if I subtracted the two numbers and then made my answer positive. Difference is always, always, always positive. And so B will work as well. If I were to do this one, 6 minus 11, no, I wouldn't have a positive answer. I'm taking away more than I'd have than I have. So 6 minus 11 would give me negative 5. But that being said, that little problem would be cleared up by the fact that that thing is in absolute value bars. So negative 5 then make your answer positive and I get 5. So C and B work as well. So a. A is the problem. So what's the problem with A? Of course, the problem with A is that it would give me a negative answer. Subtraction and difference are not exactly the same. Sometimes with subtraction, like in this case, you can take away more than you have and get a negative. But difference, because it's a measure of distance, distance or difference between two numbers will never, ever, ever be negative. So if you have a subtraction expression that ends in a negative answer or simplifies to a negative number, it is not a difference. Nice. Woo! Tricky. Correct answer here. A.